a Baytown couple blindsided after spending their life savings on a new home. They moved in on Thursday and then on Friday they tell us they were informed of serious plumbing issues, a fix that could cost them more than $8,000. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian is now joining us live from Baytown City Hall with their story. Alex? Well, the couple tells me that the plumbing issues were not listed on the seller's disclosure notice. I did talk to the previous owners and their realtor, and they tell me it wasn't in that disclosure notice because they had no idea anything was wrong. You never really forget the day you close on your first home. We signed and we came to the house uh, after they moved out and we like sat on the floor and cried and listened. We listened to the song we walked down the aisle to and cried. Abraham Maldonado says at that point he and his wife Alexis had already taken care of the basics like setting up Wi-Fi and transferring over utilities. Everything was good. We started moving stuff in here and while I was at work Friday, they called and said, sorry, Ms. Maldonado, we shouldn't have set up the water in your uh, name or transferred any services because there's a flag on the account. The Maldonado's home is allegedly sitting on top of a faulty plumbing system. Abraham was told there are tree roots growing into a concrete private sewer line that runs from his house to the city line. All has to be broken up and pulled out. According to the city of Baytown, it's been like this for seven years. They sent me an email with the letter that was sent to the owners. The owners tell ABC 13 they don't recall getting this letter informing them of the needed repair. It's stamped with a deadline of August 17th, 2018. The document states the consequences of non-compliance are one, they'll have to pay a $25 surcharge every month going forward, and two, utility services are not transferable until the fixes are made. They've been paying that for seven years. At seven years, that's a little over $2,000. That could have gone a long way to make these repairs. According to Abraham, the job is going to cost he and his wife about $8,000. He says on Thursday, the city told him if it wasn't done by Friday, their services would be cut off. We don't have any money. We spent it all on closing and getting all the stuff we need for the house. Uh, she's like, I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing we can do. We did reach out to the city outside of their normal business hours and are waiting on a response. Fortunately, they have yet to cut the Maldonado's water. It doesn't change the fact that the life they imagined in this home could be down the drain. In Baytown, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.